All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. You're gonna see in this video that I'm already sufficiently wet, and I just wanna let you know it's only 10 a.m. here. It's 85 degrees, 76% humidity, and when you come down to go to Disney World, this is what you can expect. So there you go. But uh, we're gonna do some popular summertime applications. Another thing I wanna tell you is this is actually the third time that we filmed this. We did this entire thing yesterday and found out that I sweated too much in the mic and ruined it. I do this for you all. Suffer in this heat at 10 in the morning and humidity. I do it for you, lawn care nuts. And so therefore we are filming this again today. There is a pressure washer in the background. So we got all kinds of stuff going on, but we're gonna get through this and we're gonna get through these very simple summer applications. If you wanna make these to any grass type, these won't burn, these won't push growth, anything like that. We're gonna use the microgreen. This is biostimulants with sea kelp, very popular in the community right now, as well as humic acid, very popular in the community, plus the minor nutrients, plus iron, which give you a color change. We're gonna talk about the blackout rate of this, which is something we do in Florida. We'll do that in the second half of the video, so stay tuned for that. And then we're also gonna apply Green Kick. This is our potassium supplement. When I look across the vast majority of the soil tests that we get back, many, many of them are deficient in potassium and a lot of you like liquids. This is just a straight 0025, nice clear liquid. Used to have a little coloring, I think a red coloring to it, but it's just clear now, uh, so don't panic if you see that. But we're gonna go ahead and put those down. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to use a hosen sprayer like this. And what I wanna say is with this hosen sprayer method, you cannot mix these two together, they will clump up. Well, I shouldn't say that, you, could, you can mix them if you want, but you're gonna get like cake batter. So it's recommended that you don't. I am gonna show you how to mix them in there because of higher water volume. But for right now, we're gonna do six ounces per thousand on the microgreen, and we're gonna do that as our first application. And this is just a good maintenance application for the summer. It's not gonna give you any massive color pop, but if you already have good color, it will maintain that. And of course, give you those minor nutrients in that sea kelp that you're looking for. So fill your hose-in sprayer halfway with water first. Now, another rule with this that I always like to go by is do not use a hose-in sprayer for more than 2,000 square feet. So don't expect to get five, six, 7,000 square feet out of this. Number one, you're not gonna have enough time. And number two, well, you won't have enough time. So 2,000 square feet, that's what you should just mark down in your head that when you're using a hose and sprayer, it covers 2,000 square feet. So I filled halfway with water first, got my microgreen, my rate here is six ounces per thousand square feet, because again, I'm gonna do 2,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in 12 ounces of the microgreen. There we go. Put that in my hose and sprayer. Okay, now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to spray, I'm ready to pray. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this knuckle buster right here, and uh, if you look in the comments below, other people will tell you how they've lost skin on their knuckles using these. But hey, it's a cheap piece of kit, and it works. Shake it up, spray and pray. All right, so I'm ready to go now. I'm gonna start, my water source is right there, and I'm gonna start spraying the furthest away from the water source and work back. Now, I am not the best at hose management. You guys will see I've done this a lot, and I'm still terrible at it, but that's really the thing. I just try to keep the hose in a logical place where I don't have to uh, spray it. I don't want to spray my hose. So here we go. I'm gonna go back and forth right through here. Oh, we got really low pressure. That means, yes, we have a kink. You know, I, I gotta tell y'all, y'all know that I'm very, very good at releasing products that have a demand. I'm gonna do the technology and I'm gonna release a hose and it's gonna be, gonna be called Guaranteed to Kink. And don't Google that, by the way. You're not gonna like what you find, but that's gonna be my hose brand, Guaranteed to Kink, because at least we won't be lying to the consumers then. All right, back to it. Time to spray, time to pray. Let's not spring a leak here. All right, oh, look at that, so pretty. Just do your best to get this in. This won't burn anything, you know, so you don't have to worry like that. There is a myth, actually, I wanted to talk about where people say that if you water your lawn or apply liquids like this in the middle of the day when the sun is shining and it's 90 degrees out, they say that'll burn your lawn. That's a myth. I don't know who made that up, but it's a myth, and I'll tell you why. Here in Florida, again, speaking of Disney World, you guys come down here. You know what happens every afternoon in July and August at Disney World, right? It rains for like 20 minutes, really heavy. This is a very hot and sunny place. Do you ever see like articles on Twitter about mass lawn burnings because of the rain at Disney World at two o'clock in the afternoon when it was 90 degrees in August? No, you don't. So, water, here we go, bad hose management. Almost just sprayed the dog, that was terrible, which wouldn't hurt him. So you can see that is a myth. I don't know who started that, but uh, y'all can tell me. 
Speaking of the puppy, you can see him back there. I'm not spraying that area of the lawn while he's gonna be sitting there. But a lot of people have asked about that and we'll be spraying the backyard later and we'll talk a little bit more about it. In the meantime, I'm just watching this go down, doing my 2,000 square feet here. This is actually a terrible way to spray. Should be turning it off like that, then moving the hose. Well, like I told you all before, this is the third time we've done this. All right, last little bit here. All right, where are we at? I got a little bit left, so I'm gonna go back over it again. Oh, look at that. Guaranteed to kink, which uh, guaranteed to kink was also my nickname in my college dorm. Stepping on the hose now, man. Nick, I'm out of it today. <laughs> All right, good to go. Now, there is a tiny bit left there in the bottom. What I like to do with that is pour it on your favorite palm tree, like that. Now let's go put down some potassium next. Okay, now we're gonna do green kick. This is liquid potassium 0025. The application rate is two to five ounces per thousand. I'm gonna jump in the middle, which is three. Again, 2,000 square feet. Put that in your head. Anytime you use a hose-in sprayer, hose-in sprayer action, 2,000 square feet. So that means we're gonna need six ounces here. So pour that in. There we go. I've already got halfway filled with water here on this hose-in sprayer. So now I put in my potassium there, good to go. Fill the rest up with water here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bust up my knuckles some more. All right, time to spray and pray. See if I can do my hose management a little bit better this time, go a different route. So a lot of folks will ask, about these applications. They are separate. Can you do them in the same day? Yes, which you can see I'm doing here. However, if you like to spray a lot, which I do, even though I'm acting like I don't, I like to spray a lot. So you could separate these out, do one one week, one another week, maybe two or three potassium applications in the summer would be the max. And uh, the microgreen you can do pretty much every month. And uh, in a minute, we're gonna show you the heavier rate called the blackout rate and what that's all about. But for right now, I'm noticing my lawn definitely needs to be cut. Now, one trick with this, if you want, you can apply these to a, oh, there we go. Another kink. So you can apply these products to a wet lawn. And in fact, that helps because we really want this all watered in. And the best way to get it to the soil is by having water already on the grass. Like I have dew on the lawn, right? So that's helping. But if you want to pre-water, you can. You don't have to water these in though. If some of it sticks to the grass leaves or whatever, grass blades, and you see spots there, that's okay. That'll mostly be with the microgreen. As long as you're mulching your clippings when you mow, everything is gonna get into the soil eventually. It'll just take a little bit longer if you don't water it in and some gets stuck to the grass blades, but you don't have to water it in. Especially with this method, you get a little bit more water down with it. Either way, after this is over, if you wanna know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run one quarter inch of irrigation and that way I'm gonna get this all watered in because I want it in the soil. Now there is some foliar absorption with the potassium, but all that happens within just a few minutes, so nothing to worry about. All right, there we go, all done there. Some of you might ask about this little spot in the lawn back here. I actually do that separately with the another section. This is 2000 over there, that adds another 500. So there we go, potassium on the palm, water it in. Okay, good to go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to spray with the backpack sprayer. Now this is gonna cover 4,000 square feet because this is four gallons. Remember one gallon covers 1,000 square feet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fill up halfway with water first. And that's the important part because we are going to mix the potassium and the microgreen because we have a lot more volume of water here and it will work. Now it works for me, it works in my sprayer, it pushes through fine. If you're to do this, if you're to mix these together and it doesn't work, then I just recommend you don't try that again. That's kind of the simplest way to do it. If you do want to try it, you can get them down together, at least I can using my sprayer here. So the microgreen, the blackout rate, what it is is blackout, Florida blackouts. What that means is, is that you can't apply nitrogen or phosphorus to lawns in the summer and so that means we have to find other ways to keep our lawn green and I'm gonna use the higher iron in here or the higher iron with the higher application rate. So it's t 10 to, uh, yeah, 10 to 16 ounces per thousand. I don't need the 16, I found the 12 is fine and 12s are pretty easy. 
for me to do math, so I need 12 times 4, 48, 48 ounces. This is 32 right here. So there's 32, 48 minus 32 is 1, 6. So I need 16 more right there. See this precision, this is precision air measuring. There we go. That's a lot of microgreen. But again, that's what's going to keep the long green because we got iron in here. Plus the other stuff, manganese, everything. That's got a lot of good stuff in here. Next, we're going to do the green kick, and I'm going to stick with the three ounces per thousand. So I'm going to need 12 ounces of this. This is an eight, an eight ounce little thing here. Go eight and four on the air measure. Very good. Okay. So far, I don't see any issues. We don't see any clumping. Okay. Agitate. I'm gonna fill the rest up with water. Okay. Here we go. I think this is about 40 pounds fully loaded. It seemed a lot lighter yesterday <laughs> than it does today. I'm gonna start with a little trim pass here, just to keep things nice and clean. The nice thing about a backpack sprayer, well, one of the things I like about it, is you can feel the weight coming off your back, and that is how you end up knowing if your walk speed is right. And you can see the walk speed here. For me, it's just a leisurely walk. I'm not running. It's, an, it's a pimp walk is what they used to call it. Putting some ass into it, you know? That's the speed. A pimp walk. That's what they used to teach us at True Green. I don't know if that's a pimp walk, but you can see the speed of it. Yesterday we did this twice. We did it the first time with the voice. Then the second time we do everything all over again for B-roll. So everything gets done twice. And now, because we lost the audio yesterday, this is the third time. Now twice yesterday I came out perfect on my square footage. And I'll show you what I mean when we get done with this first 3,000 square feet. I should have one gallon left. Look at that. How about your boy, huh? That's what you call experience right there, my friends. Yeah, I came out perfect twice yesterday. Nick, you were impressed, weren't you? We're gonna see if we can do that again today. Quite tired, a little bit hungover from bowling, because bowling does that to you. I guess I'll stop talking and let him put on a music montage. Hit it. Okay, let's see how we did. I already put myself on the line now, so we gotta do it right. Oh, it's off. Look at that, see? I'm off by, what is that, a quarter of a gallon? That's what you call experience right there, my friends. All right, just show the two yesterday that I hit it right. <laughs> so that means on this particular run, I walked a little too fast. It's okay, you can see I'm not off by that much, but just when I go to brag about how good I am at this stuff, I end up getting it wrong. So that's why you shouldn't spray a lawn after you bowled the night before. Okay, so here we are in the backyard now. I wanted to mention my puppy. The first thing I'm gonna do is clean up his toys. And a lot of you have asked, what am I gonna do in the backyard now that I have a dog? So this is the first part of that. First of all, I guess, look, it's holding up well. This is the Pro Vista St. Augustine grass. And uh, he likes to do his zoomies back here. It's holding up pretty well so far to that. Oh, look at this. That's the other thing. My dog is a sock stealer and I don't wanna spray my own socks. Now, one other thing he does do though, is he right here, you can see his pee is killing a couple spots. So I'm learning how to manage the dog so I can manage the lawn. I'll have a lot more content on that coming up, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray back here. So. My dog runs around, around back here, lays around, chews on toys that are in this grass. This is just nutrients. Think of it like a vitamin. You'll take vitamins that have potassium in them and iron and zinc, right? All these things. That's all this stuff is. Plus a little sea kelp and you'll swim with that, you know? And then you got humic acid, which is basically just what happens when organic material gets to its final breaking down point. That's humic. The word acid sounds scary, but it's not. Humic is very good for the soil. So I'm going to water this in though because I don't want them to track any of this stuff in onto my carpet or anything like that. But other than that, no concerns for the puppy with this stuff here. All right, y'all, there you go. There's some great summer liquids you can spray. Now I know in this video I acted like I was having trouble and I was, but I actually do really enjoy spraying the lawn and I try to spray something at least once a week. That's just me. So again, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. I've got some really good content coming up. In fact, right now, I just published a grass on, or a video on Bahia grass. 
And three times that I failed seeding there. What a, what a great track record I've had recently. So check that out. And then I also started a, a new plug grow. If you remember, we did that a couple years ago. We grew some plugs in pots and got monster roots. I'm doing that again with some products as well as using zoysia. So hope you guys enjoy the upcoming content. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the launch.